I'm here with Sharon Chang. Hi everyone, good morning. I always set out my goal, like what am I trying to achieve this year? And then I'll make sure my message and my elevated pitch is very clear and appealing. Um, I would do my homework. I would search uh, through Hub and see who is attending. And I will try to connect with them beforehand. And I will also go to a section. I will talk to speakers afterward. But my suggestion is you always be prepared when you go to speakers. They talk to thousands of people. So how you make yourself standing up. So the goal here is to, to, internet with, to interact with, uh, with the speaker and make sure they, they remember you. So that will be your future network resources. You have to make sure that uh, you position yourself very clearly. Right? You have to think out of, outside of the box. There are so many people here. Why they wanted to talk to you? What makes you different? How you differentiate yourself? What kind of key value you can bring them? It's not a, just about me. It's all about them. What do they want? You have to really think about what they want and how you deliver the value for them. That's the key to differentiate yourself. As a lot of C-levels, people come to them for needs, for requests to try to sell something all the time. And their time is precious. So how they selectively, how they talk to people, they have their, they're human being, right? Think about it this way. So try not to sell too much to them. They are afraid of being selling stuff. They wanted to make friends, they wanted to connect, you know, build relationships. So if you try to sell too strong, it's going to drive them away. I would start with other conversations. For example, right, cars, wines, travels, those are good topics. So you start building the relationship with them. You know, they know you. I always believe relationship is the key to drive the sales and to expand your network. So you have to first to make them think that you can bring them something again. And not like I'm trying to get something out of you. So be honest in, in, your, um, in your willingness to build a relationship, not just sell, right? I think yes. Yes, that's my strategy. I rarely sell or get any partners to a CEO or you know, C-level executive. Like the first time I say, okay, let me talk about Agile Point, blah, blah, blah. Usually we will start building relationship, like personal relationship, and then they are willing to listen. They will give you more time. And when it's the time, you know, they are gonna buy something from you. So that's my strategy. So what are some of the suggestions or advice for, um, for introverts to start building the relationship? Introverts good in doing research. So you really have to understand your, your flaws, your strengths, and focus on your strengths. And and then you can find another partner to help you to deliver the, ver the vision. Like myself, I keep pushing myself outside my comfort zone. You know, uh, probably speaking, it's my weakness, but I decided to take the speaker opportunity and then I spent a lot of time building my slides and I practiced a rehearsal. And so I just like step by step, right? This is your goal, like I said, you have to make sure your goal, what are you trying to achieve? And then you just do it step by step. And don't let any opportunity run away from you. Just whenever you have the chance, just grab it. So take a chance and basically prepare, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Awesome. Well, these are some really, really great tips. Sharon, I really appreciate you stopping by, or us stopping by your booth. <laughs> and uh, good luck at your session at uh, 3 o'clock today. Thank you so much. Thanks for the opportunity.